I'm going to demonstrate the use of the snap-off compression pins in a tarsal metatarsal fusion. An incision is made over the dorsum of the foot. Oftentimes, you can palpate an osteophyte over the dorsum of the foot that will estimate where the tarsal metatarsal joint is located. Initial fixation with a pointed synaculum can achieve reduction and initial compression. After initial compression with the tenaculum, a 1.1 millimeter K wire is placed through the soft tissue protector and inserted from the second metatarsal base into the intermediate cuneiform. After the placement of the K wires confirmed radiographically, the size of the proposed implant is then estimated. The depth gauge is inserted over the K wire and the size of the implant is then estimated. The single marking on the K wire corresponds with a 28 millimeter implant. K wire is then removed. The soft tissue protector is held in place and then the implant is inserted through the soft tissue protector, keeping the orientation of the K wire and implant. Once this laser line is no longer visible, then the implant should be flush with the bone. Prior to snapping off the implant, a radiograph can be obtained to confirm placement. The pin is then snapped off in a single motion, either by hand or with the aid of the soft tissue protector. Final placement of the implant is then confirmed. A similar technique is then used on the third tarsal metatarsal joint. This will be demonstrated utilizing a 2.4 millimeter pin, again beginning with the 1.35 millimeter guide wire. The 2.4 millimeter snap-off pin is then inserted. Placement of the implant is confirmed radiographically. One can see the 2.4 millimeter implant in the third tarsal metatarsal and the 1.9 millimeter implant in the second tarsal metatarsal arthrodesis sites. Depending on surgeon preference, additional snap-off pins can be placed. Typically, these would be placed from the cuneiform into the metatarsal. Today, I'll be demonstrating the dynamite compression plate. A tack is then used to secure the plate. The placement of the plate is estimated radiographically. A 3.0 millimeter crew lock locking compression screw is then utilized. This allows for low profile placement of the implant. Final tightening of the screw is then done manually. Using the manual screwdriver, the compression box is then removed. This allows the nitinol compression plate to then be activated. Final placement of the implant is then confirmed. Fixation of the third tarsal metatarsal joint is done in a similar manner. Final placement of the implants are then confirmed. Use of a variable angled screw ensures avoidance of the underlying snap-off pin. Planing of the dorsal aspect of the arthrodesis side ensures flat placement of the plate. This can be done either during joint prep or immediately prior to placement of the plate. The final construct is in scene. Again, dual compression with underlying static compression utilizing the snap-off pin and dynamic compression with the dynamite plate.